first Boogie Woogie pianist Jan Preston's touring with her show The Life and Music of Winifred Atwell. We'll chat to her in just a moment, but first here she is with In the Mood. <laughs> Jan Preston with In The Mood and she's going to come over for a chat and tell us about her Winifred Atwell show. Lovely to have you back on. Hi, the... Good morning, How Couch. I am great. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. And what a brilliant idea to bring this show back to New Zealand because it was a huge success. It was a couple of years ago that you were here? Yes, and it was successful and people love hearing the piano centre stage and they love hearing a lot of this pop boogie rag time music which hardly anybody plays anymore but I do have some extras in the show for, for people who, who did see it before and so they can you know get along again and then they can well the party faithful do seem to, <laughs> <laughs> to come back quite a lot which is lovely you've got a, um, a CD that goes along with it uh, Jan Preston plays the music of Winifred Atwell and I was lucky enough you gave me one last time and I have worn this out in my car on my on long trips it's such it just gives you such a sense of well-being but you we were chatting just before we came on air and you said the sad thing is that we've lost a bit of that piano the love for the piano that we used to have like one in four people used to have a piano in their house it, it's becoming more rock music now and guitars isn't it 
Well, understandably so, Sarah. The piano is a ridiculous instrument. I mean, it was magnificent playing the, the wonderful Steinway here on, on Good Morning. But it's nine feet, you know. Yeah. I mean, who, who has that room? And, yeah, of course, they've got to move them and tune them. And keyboards have taken over. It's not such a bad thing. You know, my son learnt from a keyboard. And it's great for kids. They've got something they mm. can put under their arm and move around. Piano music will never die. But, you know, our lifestyles and living situations have changed and the piano is really, you know, it's only mm. somebody crazy like me who has five pianos in their house. Where do you fit <laughs> them all? Oh, everywhere. My poor husband. <laughs> Where are you going to put this one, dear? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, speaking of families, uh, some people may or may not know that you are Gaylene Preston's sister and she's just had some really big success with Home by Christmas, the film with her daughter and Martin Henderson, and you were really involved in that film. Yes, well, it is a film, of course, about our father, um, Ed, his, his story of what happened to him in the war. And, um, yes, I wrote the music. I, I composed music for films, and I, uh, this was the first time I'd worked with Gaylene. What was it like? Oh, look, it Sibling was... rivalry or not? Uh, no, well, of course, we've always had that, but <laughs> we've always kept our relationship, actually, just personal. We've never worked together, probably because we were scared of, you know, falling out, I guess, as can happen. Um, but I have to say, Gaylene was wonderful to work with. She really knows what she's after, and... She's very open and very creative. She's always been like that. Mm. And I loved the film, and I loved having that opportunity to, to write music for it. I mean, in a way, I was in quite a, a pressurised situation because, you know, everybody said, oh, it must have been great writing music for a film about your father, but... You know, you, you're under a lot of kind of pressure to, to get the music right, um, and even more so in that situation where, you know, my father's going to come back from his grave and say, that wasn't very good. <laughs> so w watching the film about, just to finish off with, watching that film about your father, how, what was that like, about what he went through? And well, I war? think Tony Barry was absolutely remarkable playing my father Ed and I actually suggested him for that role he's Australian and he was um, acting in a, in a film that I was working on at the time he got my father down so brilliantly and uh, we're thrilled that of course uh, just recently he won. he won best actor and deservedly so I, I don't think there's a second Sarah in that film where you don't look into that old man's eyes and believe that he is remembering what happened to him. It's an extraordinary acting performance. And mm. um, Gaylene and I said, we'll have to go into counselling. Um, Tony Barry is not our father. You know, it, was, it was hard when it finished too, mm. you know, because I saw him on film so much more and then meeting him at the end and thinking, oh, well, he's just an actor, you know. But no, it's, it's a great tribute to our father who was the most gorgeous man as anybody that's seen the film can and, uh, can be a testament to. Well, let's just um, get back to you, why you're here in New Zealand because um, we've got a couple of photos f of Winifred Atwell because she actually herself, there she is at the piano. She was originally from Trinidad and Tobago, understand, born there. And you said, that, what was her name? She was... Uh, her, her, her real name was Una, Una Winifred Atwell from Tuna Puna, which was a small <laughs> suburb of Trinidad. And uh, she was an only child, very close to her parents, did enormous amounts for charity, mm. enormous amounts for charity all of her life. And here we see she actually did come to New Zealand obviously many years ago, and I understand um, played with the Māori concert party there. We're going to have to leave it there, but best of luck with the tour, and it's so great to have you back on the show and hearing, I just love that boogie, boogie music. Thanks so much, Jan. Thanks a lot. And Jan is touring the life and music of Winifred Atwell. Please see our website for more details. And we have three double passes for Jan's Wellington show at the St James Theatre. It's this Sunday to give away. Just tell us where Winifred Atwell was born. Enter online and follow the links in our competition area. Now remember, travel isn't included in this prize, so you'll have to get your own way to Wellington.